Hello, today's lesson is topic 4.5. We're going to convert between metric and imperial today. And if you think about which is longer, a mile or a kilometer, if you have experience with miles, and you've been to the United States and bumped around a little bit, you've noticed that they're using imperial measurement down there. And a mile is longer than a kilometer. 100 kilometers per hour is about 60 miles per hour. And we're going to take a look at how we're going to convert between these two units of measurement, metric and imperial. This chart summarizes the things that we've learned so far in this unit. So for length, metric measurements, the ones that are the most common, are millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Whereas on the imperial side, they measure in inches, feet, yards, and miles. For weight, Milligrams and grams are our small units of weight. Kilograms and tons are our heavy units of weight. In imperial, the measurements of weight or mass are ounces, pounds, and tons. For capacity or volume, in metric we measure in milliliters and liters. Mostly those are our common ones. In imperial, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons are mainly used. In this lesson, the formula sheet is really your best friend. And what's cool about going from metric to imperial or imperial to metric is we don't have to worry about do we multiply or divide. We're going to multiply both times. But what we have to be careful of is which side we want to use. So notice that if we're going from metric to imperial, we're going to look at the left hand side. Whereas if we're trying to convert from imperial to metric, we're going to use the right-hand side of our formula sheet. Let's look at some examples. For example one, we want to convert 50 centimeters to inches. So we are going from metric to imperial. So that, mean, that means that we're going to use the left-hand side of our chart and we're going to find our centimeters to inches, which is right here. One centimeter is approximately 0 0.39 inches. So then we're going to take the 50 centimeters and multiply by 0 0.39. When we do that, we get an answer of 19.5 inches. For example two, we're converting 2,000 yards to metric. So we're going from imperial to metric, so that means we have to use the right-hand side of our formula sheet, the imperial to metric side. We find where yards and meters are shown, which is right here, and so we're going to multiply 2,000 yards times 0 0.91. And when we do that, we get an answer of 1,820 meters. Now from there, we could convert meters to kilometers if we were asked to. So sometimes you'll be asked to convert into metric, and then within the metric, you may have to do some conversion. So if we wanted to convert meters to kilometers, we would move our decimal three places to the left, so we could get 1.82 kilometers. For example, three, a cup has a circumference of 10 inches. What is it in centimeters? So we're going from imperial to metric. So I look at the right side of my table and I find inches and centimeters. And that's right here in the middle. One inch is approximately 2.54 centimeters. So I take the 10 inches and multiply by 2.54. And that will give a result of 25.4 centimeters. So let's go ahead with the do together section. We're going to convert metric to imperial or imperial to metric. We're going to make sure that we choose the right side when we do our multiplication. So when we have one foot, so this one is one foot, they want us to convert it to centimeters. So we're going from imperial to metric. So I'm going to look over on the right hand side here. 
What I see for foot is it only shows me what it is in a meter, not what it is in a centimeter. So this is an example where I'm going to have to do um, two conversions. So one foot is equal to 0 0.30 meters. And then on our metric line, if you remember where meters is relative to centimeters, that is two places over. So we're going to have to go two places to the right. So 0 0.3 meters is equal to 30 centimeters. For the one next to it, we have blank miles is equal to 9 kilometers. So we know the metric. So we're going from metric to imperial. So these ones, you have to really go slow and be sure. So we're going from metric to imperial. So that we're going to use the left hand side and we're looking at kilometers and miles. So that's right here. So we're going to take 9 times 0 0.62 in order to determine the miles. When we multiply that, we get an answer of 5.58 miles. For the next one, we're going from yards to meters. So we're going from imperial to metric. So we're back over to the right hand side of our table and we look for yards and meters and that's right here. So one yard is equal to 0 0.91 meters. For the next one, we're going from feet to meters. So again, from imperial to metric. And we determined earlier that one foot is 0 0.3 of a meter. So we're going to take 3 feet times 0 0.3, which will give us a result of 0 0.9 meters. The next one, we're going from centimeters to inches. So we're going from metric to imperial. So we're going to use our left-hand side of our table. We're looking at the centimeter to inches here. So we're going to take 5 times 0 0.39 and 5 times 0 0.39 is 1.95 inches. And the last one here, we're going from 20 kilometers to miles. So we're going from metric to imperial again. So that's the left hand side of our table and we're looking for kilometers and miles, which is the top one. So we're going to take the 20 kilometers and multiply that by 0 0.62. And 20 times 0 0.62 gives a result of 12.4 miles. For the next video, we'll do a few of the exercise questions together.